Hey, this is your old buddy, the Cheapskate. It's a little windy out here today, so you might hear some background noise on here. I was asked to do a clip on how to make leaping arches. These are the four that are in my display. Each one of them is just made out of PVC pipe, a fence post to hold it up so it can't fall over, and eight strands of old LED multicolored Christmas lights that I used to use on the house. Here you can see my control box. Now, my yard is a virtual minefield of extension cords. Each of these arches takes eight of them. So for the four, I've got 32 extension cords here. And as I've said on some of the other clips, if you plan right, you can get them for next to nothing at yard sales. I spent my whole summer out yard sailing and did rather well for just a few dollars. So let's get into building one. All right, this is all the supplies you'll need to make an arch. We got six six foot extension cords. I use the brown ones because they don't show up as well. These are new because when somebody asked me to make this video, I didn't have any more yard sale extension cords, so I had to go down and buy these for this video. I didn't really like doing that, being cheap, but we've got them, so we got six of those. We got four half inch T's PVC. We got two 45 half inch PVC, some PVC glue, some electric tape, some zip ties, black ones, uh, they don't show up as well. And I've got eight old uh, strings of Christmas lights here that I used to use on the house. They're big bulb, but little bulb, big bulb, doesn't matter. Um, so that's all we need to get started here. So now let's cut off some uh, PVC pipe. It also requires two 10 foot lengths of PVC. I use the Schedule 40 electrical because that uh, is gray colored and doesn't show up as well either. So let's cut these up here, what we need. Both of them have uh, connector bells already formed into the pipe and we don't need those at all. So we're gonna cut both of those off. And then I'm gonna need four seven inch pieces. I've already got marked here. Four inch and a half pieces. And then uh, the seven foot piece that's left will be the bow at the top of the arch. On the other one, I'll be cutting the bell off the end of it. And then I've already marked them at 14 and three quarter inches because I'll have 118 inches left. That'll give me eight segments. And I've got them all marked. We're not cutting those, that's just marked for where the lights will go on. So let's get this stuff cut up. And that's it for cutting it. Now the ends of these are rough from being cut, so we gotta clean them off before we try to start trying to glue it together.
Ah, let's start gluing it together. Put a little glue in the uh, T right here and slip it on the end. And then the next T, gonna put a little glue right in the middle. Slip in one of the inch and a half pieces. Put a little glue around that. And slip that together. Make sure it's up straight. Now we're going to put in another inch and a half piece right on top. And then one of the 45s. Aim together and that'll be our arch going up. Let's do the same thing on the other end. Well, have you moved yet? I was going to say I'm not moving, I'm still there. Okay. You have to cut this part out <laughs> or you can stop it, start it again, however you want to do it. That's okay, go ahead. All right, and uh, these seven inch pieces, these are just feet so that it stands up. Slip one in each side here. You can also choose not to glue in these two seven inch pieces. That way when you're storing it, it would hang on the wall a little easier without them. Then you can just put them back in next year when you get ready to get them out again. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to glue it all together. few minutes now before we put the other piece in between them. All right, I'll move down to the floor now, make it a little easier. Let's go ahead and glue the arch piece in. And the other end. And there's the framework. So I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes and then we'll start stringing lights on. Let's start putting the lights on. And one of the first things I'm going to do though is check and make sure that the lights are good before I go to all the trouble wrapping them on there and then have to take them back off again. And these all light up just fine. These are LEDs, multicolors. I used to use them on the house, but now I've got the animated show, so I don't use these anymore. So let's start wrapping them. I'm going to tape on this female end right here at the beginning. The reason I'm using tape instead of a zip tie, I don't want it to slide down. Okay, now let's start wrapping it. Takes a few minutes. Especially when you got a long strand like I've got here, you could use less lights. Might not be as bright as pretty. But we're only wrapping it down as far as that first mark I've got on there, that 14 three quarter inch mark. So I'm just gonna wrap it back and forth here. Just try to keep it fairly even, same amount of bulbs all the way down through. And you want to end with the male plug right here at the bottom. 
Okay, I'm going to use a zip tie now to hold that plug in place. And now we're going to put an extension cord on there. Run it all the way down. I closed up the holes on the opposite side. We won't need them. And just a couple spots here to keep the cord in place. And I'm going to plug it back in and make sure that it all still works and that I didn't break a bulb while I was wrapping it. And it's all fine. So that's the first segment. Now we've got to do that seven more times. Here's the next set of lights. Got to make sure they're good. Start with the female end again. Extension cord. Couple pieces of tape, hold it in place. Like I say, you could use zip ties, but the tape keeps it from sliding down the pipe. Well, let's start with Let's check it one more time. Make sure it's still good. Yep. And the last one.
You don't have to overlap sections. Just butt them up to each other. And the last one, I'm just going to tape it right on the bottom. And it doesn't need an extension cord, it's already on the ground. Check it again. It's fine. And that's how you wrap the one side. I'll be right back after I get the other side wrapped and I'll show you the finished product. Here's the finished product. You've got eight segments, eight plugins on it. So it requires eight plugins from your control box. And then you just write your Vixen program. Uh, the best way is to not have one stop and then the next start is to overlap them, but you have to overlap them quickly. And that way they look like they're actually running back and forth. So you'll see the uh, finished product working up there on my light display here in my new one this year. So thanks for uh, commenting, asking for this video. And if you would, if you'd like to subscribe, uh, we'll be having several upcoming videos. And so, keep watching.